everybody, this is Zach Steer 99 on my drive home from work at 2.09 a.m. on Wednesday morning, the 15th of July. Boy, where's the summer going? It's going by fast. My son's going to be starting school here in about a month already. Uh, time goes by too quick, I'm telling you that much. As you can see, the highway here is pretty barren. Uh, not a whole lot of other cars traveling this time of night. And if you do see another car this time of night out here, chances are good it's going to be a cop. So you really got to kind of watch your your speed and, and everything you're doing this time of night because cops seem like they are just looking for a reason to, to pull you over. Granted, knock on wood, it's been a while since I've actually got a ticket. Uh, or anything from a cop. It's been five, six years at least. But yeah, you really got to watch yourself middle of the night hours around here. I don't know how it is in your neck of the woods. You'll have to leave a comment down below and let me know, you know, what the cops are like, you know, not too long after all the bars close where you live. Uh, the cops are out in full force and just looking for a reason to pull you over sure the way it seems out here, that's for sure. And, uh, really, really dark. Really kind of a, a nice drive. You know, honestly, I, I don't mind it. It's about a 30 minute drive for me to get home. I'm just showing you guys the majority or the part of my drive home from work. I really don't mind the drive. Uh, a lot of people you know, would probably hate a 30 minute drive to work and a 30 minute drive home. Uh, it can be more than that if the traffic's bad, but as you can see, getting off at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, I don't have that kind of a problem. Now, here in about three, four more hours, these roads will be congested like crazy in bumper to bumper traffic. Thank God I don't have to go to work in that morning commute anymore. So, that's one thing I like about this shift. Uh, I also like getting off this time at 2 o'clock in the morning when it's like 65, 70 degrees as opposed to, you know, getting off work at 5 p.m. when it's like 95 degrees here in the summer. So I definitely like the cool, the cool temperatures this time of the night, uh, in the summertime anyway. Granted, that's going to change once the winter hits and I'm getting off at 2 o'clock in the morning to a blizzard and 13 below and all that. Uh, that'll be a little bit different story. But I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys a question on this drive. I want to go ahead and present to you guys a question and have you guys comment down below, anybody that watches this. And, you know, I kind of want to offer my own input on my own question, see what you guys think of that. And... The question I'm going to ask is if you go back and you look back at, you know, when you went to school and you looked up at the stars and you wondered if there's life out there on Mars or if there's some kind of life form out there in some other universe, you know, what would it be like? So my question is really this. Do you believe that somewhere out there, looking up into space, do you believe there is not just life, but intelligent life. Do you believe there is a life form out there that perhaps is vastly superior to our intelligence as humans down here on Earth? And when you think about the odds, when you think about how much space there is out there and how many solar systems and universes and everything like that that we can't even see with our most powerful telescopes, and that we haven't even begun to see with all the spaceships and, and uh, everything we've sent out into space, sending data and pictures back. There are universes millions and millions of light years away out there. And there are so many universes out there, supposedly, that, I mean, it would be like counting infinity. I mean, it would be like counting every grain of dirt on the Earth with every grain of dirt being a whole solar system out there in space. So if you think about that many universes out there in the solar system, out there in the space, outer space, and think of how many 
grains and dirt there are here on Earth. If Earth is just life on one universe, on one grain of sand, and there's all those other quadrillions of universes out there that we can't even begin to see or collect data on, to think or to say that there is no chance of other life out there or intelligent life out there, that's a pretty ballsy statement if you ask me. I think you would have to be, honestly, I think you would have to be an idiot to even think that we are the only ones, uh, we are the only planet with sophisticated life. And, you know, we always do these movies and we think that we're going to be the smart guys. We're going to be the ones that discover life on another world. But I would say chances are probably pretty good that they've probably already found us. There's probably a life form out there somewhere that's probably vastly superior to us. And they've probably already found us. They're probably looking at us with you know, super telescopes we can only dream of. But let's suppose I'm right. Let's suppose there is some vastly superior life form out there on some other planet that we don't even know about. What do you think this life form would look like? And if you ask me, I've always kind of imagined you know, I think that if you was to come across an alien creature, I think it would be so much different than we've ever even dreamed of in all these movies and comics and everything like that. I mean, I think it would blow our minds if we actually saw an intelligent life form out there. Like, if we could just see maybe our closest intelligent life form closest to Earth. Uh, if it was to come to Earth and we was to meet it eye to eye, I think that it would shock us. I don't think it would be like anything we've ever seen in a movie. It certainly wouldn't be the green-headed, uh, you know, aliens that they've always drawn up or something looking like E.T., the extraterrestrial, a cute little guy. When I imagine an intelligent life form out there coming to Earth, I think it would be something beyond our imagination. I mean, just to give you an idea of how crazy I think it would be, I think we would probably think that whatever it was would be something completely different. So, for example, it might be like a, it might look like a spark of electricity in the air, maybe made out of colors we've never even dreamed of. You know, we might think it's a fire in, in the air or something like that. Uh, it might be, who knows, but it certain, I don't think it would have any kind of shape, any kind of weight, or any kind of special look uh, like we would even begin to imagine. I think it would be so random, it probably, if we saw it, it would probably blow our minds and send us into shock if we saw some, some other life form out there on planet. That's how I foresee it. I think it would blow our minds. I don't think we'd even be able to, you know, to take it in. Our, our mind wouldn't believe it. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be so grisly and, and ghastly that, you know, it would not st turn us to stone like Medusa in the old mythology or anything like that. But it would. It might do damage to us. It might do damage to, you know, our receptors in our eyes, our brains, or whatever, because it would be so whacked out and crazy. Uh, it might send us into some kind of shock. That's how I see it anyway. I seriously think if we were to see another intelligent life form, I just think it would be so far from anything we've ever seen, it would probably blow us up blow our mind. Maybe, it, you know, maybe it would look like an insect here on Earth. Maybe it would look like a giant ant or, you know, some kind of fish, you know, the waters or whatever. I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think of what... If you guys had to imagine our closest life form, intelligent life form on some other planet, the closest intelligent life to Earth, how far away do you think it is? Is it 10 million 
light years away? Is it a million light years away? Is it in our own solar system and we don't even know it? You tell me. And then also let me know what you imagine that life form looking like. I mean, do you imagine it looking like E.T.? Do you imagine it looking like a zombie? Maybe you imagine it looking like a, you know, the movie The Blob. The movie that I, was my favorite movie when I was a kid. You know, a big blob of jelly that eats people alive and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think intelligent life would look like if we ever saw it. How do you imagine that? And what do you what do you think would happen if intelligent life did discover Earth or come to Earth? Do you think they would come? Do you imagine they would come with friendly intentions? Or do you think they would come wanting to kick our ass and take the planet for themselves or our resources? That's kind of what I imagine. I can't imagine why they would come down here, you know, to say hi. They would probably come down here to either, you know, do something really bad to us or wipe us out or take all our water for their own needs or suck up all our, who knows, suck up all our soil or who knows. I don't know. They would want something we had more than likely uh, for their own good, for their own pleasure, whatever it was. Uh, maybe they would come up here and eat us. I don't know. Maybe we would be, you know, maybe they, we would be vitamins to them or something. But I'd like to let you, I'd like you guys to tell me, I mean, use your imagination. Don't just think about the latest sci-fi movie you watched and, you know, tell me, oh, I think it would look like, you know, whatever from some sci-fi movie or all the sci-fi movies we've always seen. Really get down and use your imagination and uh, tell me what you think a, a navy life form would look like if it if it ever came to Earth. Uh, do you believe, like I do, that it would be something so horrific and something so different from anything we've ever seen, even in the movies, that it would probably send us into shock? That's kind of what I think. But I'd like to know what you guys think of that. Uh, and if you even believe in intelligent life out there somewhere. Or maybe you think that we're the only ones. Maybe you think there's not even a, a, you know, an atom or a cell or any kind of thing out there in all the billions of other universes out there. Maybe you believe that life only exists right here on Earth. Let me know what you guys think. I think this could be an interesting video. Uh, I hope you guys respond and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this question. Do you believe in intelligent, not just life, do you believe in intelligent life out there? And if so, using your most creative uh, imagination, what do you imagine that life form looking like? You know, you can be funny if you want, but maybe be serious too, you know? Let me know what you seriously think uh, an alien life form would look like if it really did come down to Earth. Would we even know it? You know, maybe the maybe their life would be so advanced that they would know how to make themselves invisible to us or maybe they would disguise themselves like the dark or like the leaves on a tree and they would just blend right in you know that's probably what would happen they'd probably just blend in with our environment because they'd be so damn advanced if they're advanced enough to find us and come to earth they would probably be smart enough and intelligent enough to not just come out in the open and you know, start a war, they'd probably be disguising themselves and looking like a wooden fence spot in your backyard or something like that. And you'd never even freaking know it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, talking about extraterrestrial space tonight and alien life forms, life out there, do you believe it? Why or why not? And what do you think it would look like if it ever came down to Earth? Uh, what do you imagine it looking like? Being like... Would it be nice, would it be friendly, or would it be aggressive? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you leave those comments below. Be sure you rate this video. This has been Zaxter99. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.